Hi guys, uh, this video is about this Ecobee 3 Lite Smart Thermostat. I'm gonna install this and actually I'm replacing this one. This is Lux Pro. Uh, this is working fine, no problem with this. The only reason I'm replacing it with Ecobee 3 is um, this cannot be controlled through Wi-Fi or through your cell phone and this can be. Um, I will show in the next video what needs to be done in order to install this but in this video all I want to show you is this that this guy how to remove this and what else is here for example you can turn it on and off so let me turn the heat off from here first before I uninstall it and uh, rest is okay so basically you take it like this you undo this and this is out simple so it has uh, actually a tab here and two notches here basically here one one here so this is how you take it out and once this is out you must take a picture or note it down somewhere that what kind of configuration you have and um, this is my C wire, this is my G wire, white, W, G green. This is my yellow wire. This is red, which is connected to RC, and this is jumper to RH. So basically RC and RH are jumpered. So we have to find out in the Ikabi if we need it, if we need this jumper or not, we'll find out and this is how it is so basically we need to unscrew these and make sure these cables do not touch each other you know move them aside i will show you probably in the next video and uh, once that is done we need to unscrew these two and take this guy out once this is out then you can start installing the other one that's in the next video um, i purchased actually this one you know through facebook I think normally its price is 120 plus something but I got it through Facebook one of the guy sold it to me for 60 bucks which is not bad I hope it will work uh, this was a open box thing but it looks uh, he said that everything is new and it looks new so I didn't mind buying it like I said I hope it will work so this is the module this sticker is still here this is the back side of Ikabi. Let's put it aside. Let's see what else do we have. Some manuals. We'll read them. Okay. This piece. Oh, there's a little level. So you can put it on the wall and make sure it is leveled. And the old wires or the wires from the old thermostat gonna go in this place we'll see how it works and this is the module and the wires to connect some of the old style uh, high vac systems hvac systems so probably i don't need it we'll see this is some hardware screws and stuff and underneath this box and this is a plate the big plate and this is the small base um, we'll see if we need it you need it only if your hole in the wall is big enough and if this does not cover or this guy on the top of this doesn't cover in that case you need this plate in my case probably I don't need this okay so that's pretty much in the box and uh, check out next step in the next video. All right guys, so before you install Ecobee 3 Lite, uh, you need to uninstall this and uh, make sure you turn off your furnace either from the switch, flip switch or from the breaker. Uh, that's most secure way. And if you don't have any knowledge about the voltage and stuff, you should definitely do that. In my case, I have one upstairs, another Ecobee, which is controlling the zone upstairs and this one at the ground floor 
Um, I turned that one off, I turned this one off, so everything is off, but I did not flip the main circuit breaker off. Let's see if I can still live through this. All right, so first thing first, so can you give me this little screwdriver? First you need to make sure you know. So it is very simple. This is yellow to yellow, green, white to white, green to green. This is the most important one, C. If you don't have a C wire, uh, your ECOB is not gonna work. So you need to do, undo all of this. This is the jumper between RC to RH, and this red wire is going there, so you don't have to worry about that thing. Leave the jumper here, just remove all of this one by one. So I'm gonna undo, do this. C is out. Now, because I did not turn off the breaker from downstairs, uh, I just need to make sure these wires do not touch with each other. But this does not have any 110 or 220 voltages coming here, so uh, it should be safe. So this is out. This is the other one out, green. C goes to this like purple or bluish thing. And then this is the white. White goes to W, which is white. Not difficult to remember. And if you have multiple if you have multiple red wires or multiple green wires, you need to follow the instructions. This, that procedure is different. This is yellow. This is the simple one. Yellow coming out. And last one is the red. And this red is coming out. Okay, all of these wires are out. Remember, you don't need to remove this jumper. You can leave this here. Now, can you give me the gun thing? Gun. Now we need to undo this, make sure we keep them separate. All of these wires, do not touch them. I mean, do not touch them or they should not touch each, each other. Okay. Nice and smooth. This is our, actually somebody didn't do a good job. Um, let's see the other one. Now, make sure bend these wires a little bit. And actually, um, can I have the other screwdriver? Because of the camera in the way, I cannot put that screwdriver gun there or drill machine. So I'm gonna undo slowly with this. Almost done. By the way, this is this picture. My daughter made it. Watch. Here she is. The famous Shopkin girl. And you can watch video how to make this one too. Anyways, coming back to the actual work. Uh, okay, Fakir. Okay. Shopkin girl. Can we, can we undo this? Okay, this is out. This is out so that it's not in the way and I'm gonna I'm gonna put this here hold this screwdriver and let's take this thing out again screwdriver is screw is loose I'm taking this out slowly but surely okay this is out now you just need to pull this out make sure they don't touch each other and they did it Okay, next thing in the next video, how to put the plate back here. Okay, the next step is to put this plate on. So as you can see, this is loose right now. So I got the wires through this hole, they are here. Um, they need to go like in these points. Uh, this wire, for example, uh, yellow will go into Y1. Now you can check the manual. It doesn't need to go into Y2. The red will go into RC. And this green is only one green, which is ground, which can go to G. And these wires actually go from this notch here. In order to do that, you actually, wherever you wanna put it, you need to press this down, insert the wire, let it go. It may stay a little bit down, but just let it go and make sure this is tight in this. Um, so this way you put all of them and then eventually 
we need to drill holes up and down here uh, and this little level thing we'll use to make it level the problem is you know these uh, other okay these screws i mean these holes we'll see what we can do for them uh, another thing is these wires are so long uh, we need to push them back in that hole so i will do that and i will start putting the wires and i will see you in the next video step okay guys so i installed the wires this way and as you can see two holes right and left um, in order to cover them either i can install this big plate in the back but i really don't want that so what i'm gonna do rather to keep it here i'm gonna move it as much as possible to the left side because once the ekb3 goes on the top of it and this these holes are not gonna be shown okay anyways so as far as wires are concerned so as you can see uh, the red wire is going into rc green to g yellow to y1 not to y2 only y1 and um, this is c wire blue wire into c and white wire into w1 you need to make sure that they are not loose so they look okay to me and as you can see these tabs are facing down because the wire is in so they cannot come back up so anyway so these wires are here uh, once again if you have a different wiring if you have multiple g wires i mean green wires or multiple red wires then you have to follow other steps this is what it shows here oh, it's upside down in the instructions so as you can see that uh, red wire will go to rc green to g yellow y or y1 it goes to y1 only and blue wire goes to c or the c wire goes to c and uh, w or w1 goes to y1 w1 sorry and that's how it worked and uh, the wires coming back here so now i need to drill two holes as you can see these two holes one here one here and i will do that and i will be back uh, with the next step okay guys this thing is in place as you can see i put the two screws here so whoever installed the previous one as you can see um, he installed directly into the wall here and here he put the anchor so uh, it's much better with the anchor but i i was lazy as well so i drilled directly into this uh, i think it's gonna stay if it becomes loose i will do something else so now now is the big test to install it to see if this fires up okay this is a new module let me make this video size a little smaller like this okay as you can see these pins they're gonna go in here and i hope everything is all right so let's see is here all plugged in I don't see anything coming up on this one yet I may have to turn it on through software uh, I mean uh, the upstairs one to make sure this connects so that will be in the next video hi guys as you have seen in my previous video or previous part of this video that um, my ikabi did not work so i came downstairs so let's remove this thing put it on the side and this is how my furnace module looks like uh, as you can see is one thermostat thing this is another thermostat i have another ikabi by the way installed upstairs and um, I think I did that at that time as well. That's why it came to my mind that why it's not working. So if you look closely on thermostat one, you see this blue wire. Actually, this is a C wire. So this needs to be connected to the C terminal here, which is connected, and that is for upstairs. That's why it's working. 
but the other thermostat by the way i have a thermostat option here for another zone zone three but i don't have in my house so i have zone uh, this thermostat for zone two uh, okay so this one as you can see this is the spare wire the spare blue wire so this needs to be untangled from here and this will go into the sea and you can probably see this is sitting empty right now and um, i can't hold my camera to install it because that needs to be peeled off a little bit and then i have to uh, press this guy i believe right or left i have to find out somehow i need to insert that blue wire into this c wire so let me do that and i will come back to you with the next video all right so i have connected this blue wire into the c connector here and it was not difficult to, at all to put it in i just unpeeled this plastic covering a little bit and then from here i just pushed it in and it settled down but uh, if this doesn't work you can push this tab down in this case you can push this tab down and uh, then you should be able to push this wire into this terminal and it's right here so it's all connected and uh, i hope my ecobee will work now so let's put this thing back and i will see you guys upstairs with uh, with the ecobee to see if it works okay guys so i fixed this white sorry the blue wire which is c can you bring it closer okay this wire at the furnace side it was not connected because it's not needed with the older style of thermostat but with ecobee we need it so now all the wires are here and i hope it will work because this ecobee i took it upstairs i have another one i installed it over there and it was fine it was working fine over there i set it up already over there now let's just put it in okay i still did not get the power so something is still wrong here okay i have to test it and i will let you know if i find something 